All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Sminified Podcast. Today we're on episode number 11. It's been a while, but we're back, everybody. Took a couple weeks off, but we are back with a special guest today. We've got the Matster. How you doing, man? I'm not doing too bad, Smitty. You doing okay yourself? I'm doing great, man. I mean, I would say good morning to you, but it's what time is it for you right now? Like 4 o'clock? So, yeah, it's 4 o'clock because I <laughs> live in Ireland. Time yeah. zones are the fuck worst dude it's it's crazy man the, like everybody in the discord we're all, we, we all live in different time zones it's actually crazy it's so hard to schedule things but it's so interesting how the internet connects us like that but anyways that's not what we're here to talk about today we're gonna be talking everything zombies everything call of duty zombies because i'd say we're both pretty big zombies fans how long have you been playing zombies would you say um i started out playing zombies in uh black ops one i think that's really when most people started because you know Keener Dratone was like a very popular map back yeah, in the day. It's... I still hop on Black Ops 1 every now and again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's definitely one of the most iconic maps. And like, yeah, I'm always down to play a game of Keno. And yep. all right, here, I, got a, I got a question for you. You got to justify this. Do you still believe this? Do you still think Raven the Red, Redwoods is your favorite Call of Duty Zombies map ever? I do. I do still believe it is. I've been leaning more towards Spaceland, but mm-hmm. currently Raven the Redwoods... Yeah is my favorite zombies map. I love the bows, I love the easter egg. It's probably just the most casual pick up and play zombies experience you've ever gotten. Yeah. And I just feel like there were so many good things in that map that not a lot of people really talked about or gave mm-hmm. a chance. Like, the memory charms are so good. They're basically yeah. like little like items that you can pick up and oh, if yeah. you can complete their I, special side yeah, quests, I feel like you get a reward. You and me, we're one of the few people who like I feel like Infinite Warfare Zombies is so so underrated, you know? Like, I know, and I honestly feel like people didn't give it a chance. No. I mean, I won't lie, if there's one thing that IW uh, did wrong, mm-hmm. it would probably have to be um, the marketing near the end of the season. The marketing near the end of the season mm. was dreadful. Nobody I... knew about Ra- no, 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 not Raven the Red Wiz. Nobody I, knew I called. about... Um, uh. But nobody knew about Attack of the Radioactive Thing until oh, the day after from Beyond it came and that stuff. Out. Yeah, see, that's my problem. So I started off with Infinite Warfare Zombies. I loved Spaceland, and then what came out, Raven in the Redwoods. I, I mean, I loved that map, and then Shadow and Shuffle. I liked all those maps, but by the fourth DLC, they I, they just lost my interest, and I was out. But I can acknowledge that Infinite Warfare Zombies was some of the best, man. It was just such a casual experience. It was just so chill, and they just had fun with it. And it was awesome. It was nice to take a little break from the seriousness of Treyarch Zombies. And unfortunately, not a, not a lot of other people felt that way. But it's happy to see you're on the same page as me because I really like IW. It's good stuff. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I honestly, I think Infinite Warfare Zombies was underrated. And uh, if there is one thing I think Infinite Warfare did better than Black Ops Free, mm-hmm. it was the actual Easter egg completion reward. Ooh, I mean, yeah. for Black Ops Free, you get the RK5, a gun <laughs> that you can just buy off the wall. Yeah. In Infinite Warfare, you get Director's Cut. You get 25,000 points, all the perks available on that map, all of the box guns are pack-a-punched, and all the Wonder Weapons are put in the box, and double pack-a-punch is available right from the start, meaning you don't have to oh, do any side quests. That's nice. That that's nice, because you usually have to beat the Easter eggs to get double pack-punched, don't you? Um, I think. Uh, for, for, for zombies in Spaceland, yeah. you do, but for the rest of the maps, you don't. You just have to do, like, a quick side uh, quest. So, I, they were listening to the community with that. I mean, we always wanted some sort of super Easter egg, and then IW gives it to us, and, like, nobody was paying attention to it. That's sad. That's sad, man. Yeah, yeah. Poor Lee Ross. Times were tough. Yeah. Yeah, I think the main reason not a lot of people cared about zombies around that time was mm-hmm. because around the time the season was starting to wrap up and we were learning more about Director's Cut and all the little hidden things they were going to put into the game for, like, the very end, that's when World War II was announced. Oh, and yeah. all I knew on that game. Yeah. And then I, moving on to World War II, I, I played World War II for, like, two months, and then Fortnite took over the world, and then that game was gone. So. Um, truth be told... Oh. I never really got into Fortnite. That's really? not what we're talking about. But Interesting. I actually enjoyed World War II, but mm-hmm. the thing with World War II was is that it, I was in this in like state where I, I, I got the game for Christmas, and I played through Zombies, and I loved it. F- fun fact, Final Reich was actually the first Easter egg I ever beat in Zombies. Oh, really? It, it was a great map. I, I liked that map, but after that, they were all they all fell off right after that. I enjoyed the first map, and then I was just gone. 
for all the yeah, DLCs and everything. I was actually planning on getting the season pass, mm -hmm. but Oof. I just kind of weighed my options. Because you see, with Infinite Warfare, I enjoyed the multiplayer and the zombies. Ooh. So I felt like if I bought the season pass, I'd be paying like 30, 40 bucks for, you know, a lot of content for two modes I really liked. Mm -hmm. But with World War II, I only really liked the zombies and I absolutely hated the multiplayer. Really? And eventually I just kind of stopped playing the game and then I kind of even forgot it existed and I kind of forgot to buy the pass. <laughs> Yikes. That's kind of how everybody, I kind of forgot World War II existed too. I didn't think it was a bad game. I liked, like, they added War or whatever it was called. Like, that was a good oh, game. Oh, War but... was fun. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really remember anything else of it. That's the problem. Were the maps good? Uh... Um... Kind of. I know I, there I... were a lot of ones people didn't like. Uh... Point de Hawk and the Gustav Cannon comes to mind. Mm. Uh, what maps were there? Ooh. They they actually brought in shipments. Did they? They the brought that map back in like three different CODs now. I mean, I know. it is a fun map. But... <laughs> Recycled content. That's kind of what Call of Duty is at this point, isn't it? Like nothing's really oh, all original. Right Black Ops 4. That is oh, recycled my. content. That's literally a copy paste of Black Ops 3. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like they really didn't even true. try, did they? I don't know. Oh my god. It's just... I feel like Zombie so much better. I feel like what they sh sh should have did at launch is that they should have focused on, like... Hmm. I think the main problem with Black Ops 4 Zombies was that they tried to do way too much at once. They were trying to start a whole new story, and then they were trying to finish Afer at the same time. I feel like yeah, if they that's focus fair. everything on Afer in this game... And Oof. then hinted at chaos in like Blackout, and then yeah. they showed us chaos in the, the next game, which is expected to be Cold War. Then people would be more willing to actually get interested in them. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting take. They did give us a whole lot. Like, they gave us four maps on disc, didn't they? And like half of them were yeah, either. They did. Or, what was it? One. one of them Day were either, and three of them were chaos. I don't remember what it was. Uh... But. Uh, yeah. Two were for two were chaos. We got Blood that didn't classified. Oh, yeah, and then it was we two. Got Voyager and nine. Also, yeah. one popular pit in time. I didn't hate Voyage. I actually like it. Oh, Voyage. I played like four games on that map. I can't really have an opinion. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know anything about that map. That's yeah, tough. same here. I played a bit of Voyage and then I kind of just dropped off. Mm -hmm. And my relationship with Black Ops Four. It's probably the worst I had with any COD game outside of World War II. Because at least with World War II, I hopped into Zombies and I played it. I enjoyed it. I think I played Blood of the Dead the most. Yeah, and same. then I played mine a good bit. And I barely played Voyage. And then I didn't get the Season Pass until March. And then I played Dead of the until Night. March. And I hated it. So then I skipped over Ancient Evil. And I went straight <laughs> to Alpha Omega and Attack the Totem. And then only recently, about two months ago, I picked up Ancient Evil, and... You love it. I mean, that Chaos had a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was, it's a good idea. It was just bad execution with the way they implemented Chaos, and Ether at the same time, it was just too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Because, like, all we just all wanted to see the Ether storyline end, but during that time, we had, to, we had to get Chaos maps in the way, and people didn't really like that, so they lost interest. And then when they released an Aether map, people got interested again. So they kind of messed that part up for sure. But yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, if they simply teased Chaos and then held off until the next game, not only would they have, oh my god, my English, not only would they have had a lot more time to work on a lot of the maps they had in the works, they also could have, you know, given us a proper experience. Like, for example, they were originally actually going to include Dead of the Night on launch day, but they couldn't get the map done in time, so they had to push it back to, to, to December. Wait, they were going to put five maps on disc? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead of the Night was actually planned to be that's, on disc. But that's then they so ambitious. Get the... Yeah, they... so what happened was, is that I think, I think this is what happened. I think the map was mostly done, and they had to get the voice lines from, from the actors but the actors were busy, so they had to push the map all the way back huh. until December. Really? And they turned it into a DLC? Huh. Yeah, because so... they couldn't just... They they did want to make it an on-disc thing. I think even Jason Blundell actually even noted that they wanted to make it an on-disc map. Huh. They just couldn't get it out in time. 
Yeah, and a rip to Jason Blundell. He's out. So it's an interesting where Zombies man, is going to go from here on awesome, out, man. man. I feel like whenever it came to just wanting to give people like a good time, it was Lee Ross, man. Like, yeah. he had a space land and rave. He, he didn't want to focus on story and characters. He just wanted to give pl- p- people maps that were just fun. Yeah. Just and take he, everything. He succeeded take for all sure. the depression and death out of AFER and just replace it with just yeah. fun. Yeah. And I mean, for you and me, I think we both agree he definitely delivered. He Perfect. I think I, IW Zombies was one of the better zombie games, honestly. It was so good. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that. It's fortunate that so many other people don't think that, but hey, it's still good to this day. I mean, Geeks from Beyond exists, so... All right, well, I never... T- see, I, di- I died off at the end of this DLC season, so I never yeah, played well, Beasts from just, Beyond. Yeah, well, just all I'm going to say is this. Unless you get Director's Cut, do not play the Beast from Beyond because it has some of the worst enemy balancing I think I've ever seen in a Zombies map because, like, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically they take a lot of enemies from other maps mm-hmm. and then they kind of all smoosh them together so, into beasts yeah it's just a and mess. then you just have like 50 enemy types just running around at once <laughs> i'm sure they don't, it... like fit to each other i bet it doesn't play smooth at all it's just a uh, bumpy mess oh, yeah. clusterfuck. i mean you have cryptids for, for, from extinction and then you got <laughs> zombie clowns you got the slasher you got ninja zombies thankfully they didn't put in any crogs from attack of the radioactive thing i think i might have had a spasm um, i i guess forgot what those things were but yeah yeah all right here we go here's a good question for you all right black ops 2 zombies or black ops 3 zombies black ops 3 zombies all the way because black ops 2 (laughs) is just for sure oh black ops 2 was bad transit and nuketown were okay wait what did you just you just said out of black ops 2 the best master transit nuketown oh no 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 no. i'm going over every map Transit is right, right. fun with friends, but on your own, it's uh, kind of, eh. Yeah. Nuketown is fun solo or with multiple people, mm-hmm. but the way they introduce the perks and the pack-a-punch where they can just appear like, at random, that can kind I, of ruin your game. I feel like, like, you I could end why. up getting dug at round 10 or 25, and the same goes for pack-a-punch. Doesn't that help uh, the map, though, in a way? It adds a little bit of randomness to it, a little bit of difficulty? Yeah, I know, or but what? for some people, it'll yeah, just I be suppose. a dip RNG if they're able to, to survive or not. Die oh Rise, God. I just... That's fair. Oh my God, I hate Die Rise. Die Rise does not deserve the hate it gets. It's not a terrible map. I know, I know. I actually played it with you a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, you, yeah, we were grinding uh, and then we lagged out, unfortunately, but... Yeah. yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, um, my least favorite Zombies map is Die Rise. I just Why think it's that? terrible to find. Um, I feel like the map does a lot of things for the sake of innovation, and there's just a lot of design flaws that just don't really make the map... Well, there's a lot of design flaws that make the map worse. I mean, most of the time, whenever I'm playing the map, I'll either die because I've fallen to my death or because uh, I get smushed. Is that really true? Does that, does that really ever happen to you? For, like, for me, whenever I play Die Rise, I never get smushed to death. I never fall, really. Oh, my God. So I don't know if that actually well, happens ever. It does happen to me because I just... It's just, it's just, it's is that such it, a or... dumb idea. What about the Slickify? What do you think about that thing? That thing's great. Oh, the, oh, the Slickify is the one good thing about Die Rise. I think it's fun. It's a fun gun. Mm-hmm, for sure. Let's yeah, see, what else, what else did that map I introduce? Uh, the AN on the wall? Uh, That's very easy. <laughs> oh, the AN, yeah, that is, uh, that's easy mode. I don't think like, I've even... ever hit the box on Die Rise just because I could buy the AN off the wall. So. Yeah. Like, even if you get everything you need on Die Rise, it's still not really a fun map. I find it kind of boring. Because the only yeah, really that's, that's safe fair. space to, like, train is the rooftop. And even then, you have a barricade behind you. And then you got zombies coming from in front of you. So you got to watch all 360 degrees at once. And it's just a fuck fest. Yeah, it does get kind of boring. That, that's fair. But uh, yeah. it implemented who's who. So... It's got that. Oh, also, who could forget the tease of PhD flopper? That oh, was just, they introduced PhD the almost. The biggest kick in the dick I think the zombies community ever got. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then we got it on two maps. On origins. That don't do this. <laughs> we got PhD we got on it origins. Off the deck in grief mode, and yeah. then we got it on origins. The two maps where <laughs> falling to your death is pretty much not actually possible. Yeah. 
that's tough. Would Dairai have been better if there was PhD and they like, didn't troll us? Yes, yes. That would like, be so no much fall fun. damage. Dolphin and, diving from building like, to building? That'd be awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> that would actually be fun. Oh my god. Imagine a, imagine how big the explosion would be if I like, just like dolphin dive like the very they, top of the map. They really messed up. Dude, that would that could add so much more fun to the map if you could jump down like five stories. That'd be awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> they really messed up. Jesus. No, I can just imagine like oh my that. god. Imagine if there was a step of the Easter egg which required you to like buy Parkour. a PhD and like make an explosion. Dude, that'd be so much fun. I didn't even think about that till now. They wow, they really missed out. <laughs> oh my god. Instead they were trolling us. Oh, that's actually another thing I like about Infinite Warfare. They actually brought perks back and, like, brought in, like, community ones. Like, they brought in PhD back with Bomb Stoppers, and then they turned Banana Colada into, I think it was Trailblazers? I yeah, think I, th yeah I think that's right. Yeah. You get Trailblazers. Never really bought the perk. I didn't think it was all that useful, but it's cool that they take the community ideas like that, yeah. That so, was nice. It was very nice. Yeah, IW really listened to us, and that's that's one reason why I think it was so much fun, but... Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. What do you think of Origins? Because you don't put Origins up very high on your top five list of all time um, maps. So explain I Origins for us. I don't think it's bad. That is a big misconception a lot mm -hmm. of people uh, give me whenever I say I don't like Origins. Mm -hmm. hate it. I think every once in a while, if I have a lot of spare time to kill and if my friends want to play it, I'll hop onto Origins. But it's just one of those maps where I play it and I don't really see why people think it's great. I enjoy it. It's fine. But I don't think it's like... I don't know. I just think it's kind of dull to me. I feel like the map design's very... Uh, it's very really? flat. It's like, barely any areas that really stand out or are unique. The only area of the map that really sticks out to me is the crazy place. And I, might, mm -hmm. and I hardly ever end up in there. Yeah, that, ah. see, to me, I feel like Origins was just so innovative, and like the way the generators just link to Pack a Punch and the portals to the to the ether and stuff, like it's or the crazy place. It's yeah. just, I thought it would just worked out so perfectly, in my opinion. I don't yeah. know. I think another reason that I didn't like Origins and why some people may not like it is because it's built for the hardcore audience. Yeah, for with sure. Little to no wiggle room for like casual players. Like, if yeah. you buy the base Black Ops 2, and you play Transit and Nuketown, and then you jump straight <laughs> to Origins, you're gonna get Whiplash in, like, five different sections of your yeah. neck. <laughs> like, for the, yeah, for the casual players, that's not good, but yet I think but the hardcore people, it's good for us, so it's kind of a 50-50, I guess. I don't know. I know that, for me that's personally, what I love I Origins. Like about Black Ops 3. That's what I like. That's actually what I like about Derizon Drock. They took everything that you know, hardcore players would like in Origins, and they dumbed it down, but not too much so that the hardcore players wouldn't like it, but enough so that casual players could still, like, pop on and enjoy it. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of the hardcore player, and I really just don't enjoy Durazendrak, because it's just, it's too easy. And like... Yeah, I try to avoid using the Lightning Bow, I just, <laughs> I just use avoiding the Wolf Bow. I'll only ever, like, if yeah. I'm ever in a co-op game, I'll always be like, okay, I'm taking the wolf bow. You, you guys can decide who gets the lightning bow. Because I know yes. if I say that I want the lightning bow, there's going to be like a huge-ass argument. Yeah, probably. Like that's I think that's one place where Treyarch went wrong is balancing the bows. Because the light, lightning bow is just so much better than everything else. So yeah, if they would have balanced them a little better. I really like about like uh, the later maps. Oh, yeah. I feel like any map from that point on that brought in like the four wonder weapons, they did it better because uh, I'm trying to think here. In uh, Space Land, had Space four zappers. Oh, they, they were all awesome. Yeah, the zappers were actually really fun. Mm -hmm. I unfortunately can't say the same for the bows in Raven the Redwoods. <sighs> They're all good except the trapomatic because. Oh yeah. But the way the, the way that the trapomatic works is that you shoot two yellow balls out of like a Kimbo crossbows, mm -hmm, yeah. and you have to make sure you shoot the balls close enough to each other so that they can make like a link, and then they'll become a laser trap on the ground. Yeah, but I, I think I was watching like the relaxing end or somebody going for a high round, and he was using that thing. So maybe it's just a high rounds weapon. I don't know. Yeah, definitely more of a camping weapon. I think a lot of people use it to camp in the cabin. Uh, probably. I guess I, don't, I need to go back and play Raven the Redwood sometime. It's gonna be oh the slasher man. The slasher was oh, he's scary God. man. He's actually the scary. The slasher boss fight. The slasher boss fight. Unpopular opinion time. Best boss fight, boss <laughs> music, and best boss arena. Because with really? rave mode, 
the arena looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I could see that. I could see that. Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess I just haven't played it in so long, I don't really remember. But for sure, it's just, Rave Mode was awesome, honestly, the way they innovated that. It doesn't it give yeah, you, like, double the points or something? The area where they went wrong was making it so that the slasher comes into Rave Mode after round 10, and that you can't kill him unless you get the smiley. I feel like that's, like, the oh. one area where they kind of flopped Hello. when it came to... <laughs> oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> Muted himself. Hey, it's all good. Uh, give me a sec, dude. Yeah, it's all good. Like going to want to cut this part out. Nah, it's all good. We'll keep her going. But, yeah. Hey, if anybody if anybody out there's listening right now, you never played IW Zombies. You got to go play it. It's it's so good. Like <sighs> ranking up Spaceland is definitely the best. It definitely started falling off with each DLC. It went Spaceland and Raven the Redwoods and like Shaolin Shuffle. It definitely went from best to worst. But hey, if you guys are listening, honestly, like me personally, I'd probably just buy IW just for the zombies. I I could yeah. I could make that investment. I W multis. The multiplayer. Did you, uh, did you say you like that? Yeah. Uh. Mm. My brain just farted. Yeah, it's it's all good. Like, uh, it's, oh no! Found a way to like exploit it a lot. Like I remember, nearly every map has like an out of the map glitch where you can just get <laughs> under and shoot everybody. Did they, and it's did they ever fix that, or did they just not care? Um, I think the only one a lot of people know about is on the map precinct. There's like a glitch where you can like uh like like get under the floor but you can kill the person you just need to like throw a cluster grenade and uh mm -hmm. it should like damage them didn't they didn't they bring back like classic weapons in that multiplayer if you prestige you can unlock a classic weapon or something like that yeah i think that's cool. do, i don't know how to feel about that at really? least they weren't put as dlc guns like okay yeah that's yeah. fair and have 100 dlc weapons like bo3 but... yeah something i think infinite warfare did well was the fact that if you owned the season pass then you got immediate access to all of the DLC guns for use in um, multiplayer and Ooh. zombies. I think nice. the only two guns that didn't follow that rule were the UDM and the axe. I think you had to get like kills with like a prestiged pistol for the UDM, mm -hmm. and for the axe, you, you just had to get it out of supply drops. <laughs> Yikes! All right, here, here's a, here's my question: What do you think of Black Ops 3's multiplayer? It was fun. It was fun. I, I have a lot of memories I completely with, agree. with that multiplayer. I don't. Some people don't like it. I honestly, for me, like the they'll complain about the movement system. I thought the movement system was perfect. Like I almost prefer that movement system over boots on the ground, to be honest. Yeah, it, it was just so fluent. The so maps were so quick. It was so easy to get around. With uh, Black Ops Three. Um, yeah. Oh my god, what was I about to say? I actually remember some of my best memories from Black Ops Three came during one night where uh, I was just grinding out Black Ops 3 and mm. me and a friend kept getting put into lobbies of infection not the game mode, the like map and yep. I remember after one match I got like a common supply drop and I opened it and I got oh. the PPSH and there I go. couldn't stop screaming <laughs> like because That's crazy. of just how insane it was like for how many DLC weapons there my are account, so I don't actually have it anymore oh, like I just said. That's a big rip I don't know why but big... The fact there's like 100 DLC weapons doesn't even like make me mad. I don't know why. Bruh, like, I'm pretty sure there's more melee weapons than okay, yeah. actual guns <laughs> in the game. There's probably like 50, 60 melees. It's crazy. My brother know, has all of them. <laughs> he spent like why? He spent like easily a thousand bucks on that game. That? Easily. He's got all the DLC guns. It's crazy, man. We used to grind Black Ops 3 so much. It's unreal. Like, Jesus like we went for the dark matter grind, and like over Christmas break, we were getting like two or three guns gold a day. It was just a grind. Oh my god! <laughs> they get in the six man search lobbies. Oh, those were good times, though. <laughs> oh, I've never really been a fan of search and destroy, but mm -hmm. I can see why people enjoy it. It's like more it's tactical. It's just like your life means a lot more in search. So you just gotta play. Yeah, you gotta play more tactical, and it's yeah. just it adds that. Wait, were we supposed to be talking about zombies? <laughs> well, we can talk about anything. Um. Favorite Black Ops 3 Zombies map? Oh, you probably Durazendrak. Um, yes. Definitely Durazendrak. I used to prefer Golrod, yeah. but yeah. I think I just prefer Durazend more. Okay, can you, like, tell me, like, other things to do on Durazendrak besides get the bows and then get to, like, round 30? Because um, that's all I ever do. Um, A lot of things I like to do on Durazendrak. Uh, 
There's an Easter egg involving getting to just a panzer head. Like, you can just get, like, a panzer, like, claw, like, on your head. Like, that's a cool <laughs> Easter egg I like that's it. to do. Does it do anything? I like or... to just usually do the Easter egg with friends. Yeah. It's definitely one of the best Easter eggs in COD history. Okay. And I remember the first time I saw the ending, I was like, Oof. holy shit. <sighs> the No J stream, was it that? That was crazy. Oh, uh, Noah's stream. Oof. I still re remember, like, just, ah. Oh. Man, you gotta feel bad for, right. for, for Dempsey. Like, yeah, that was just. All right, all right. Here you go. You're probably not gonna like this, but honestly, I really don't like the Dresden Drake Easter egg, and I think that ruins oh, the map for me. Not everyone's way. entitled to their own opinion. It's just, I don't know why. I just never got into it. Like, I can, I can accept how awesome it is. I can accept the ending is incredible, but I just never, I just never enjoyed it. So that really takes away from the map for me for sure, because I could see the Easter egg making that map for a lot of people, to be honest. But for me, yeah, I know, I know, I and it's it, okay so. to have that opinion because yeah. I know that I've probably already pissed off a few people with a couple <laughs> of my opinions already, and I don't care. Raven the Redwoods is the best, yeah. But uh, Raven the Redwoods best map, Die Rise worst map. <laughs> well, Die Rise is probably agreed upon by a lot of people. I don't know why though. I just, I don't think it's that bad of a map still. But yeah, Gorod, like the Gorod Easter egg, all pretty much makes that map for me to be honest. The Gorod Crow Easter egg is yeah. so good. That is definitely an unpopular opinion. I think hate so. getting the statues. I love... You don't like doing the challenges? And, or wait, getting the statues? You don't like that process? Or... Uh, I enjoy doing the gravestone challenges for the Gauntlet of Siegfried. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. It's the statues in the Easter egg where you have to like get all the trophies. I hate that. Really? Like, I just... it's just... I just don't enjoy huh. it. Interesting, because I'm just the complete opposite. I love it because I can just speedrun it on solo. It's like the perfect Easter egg to speedrun. I honestly think it had one of the best boss fights ever with Nikolai yeah, okay, and the dragon. Yeah, okay, the boss fight is cool. You fight a dragon, and then you fight a drunk Nikolai in a mech yeah. suit. It's, all, it's really difficult, too. I like how it brings challenge. Because, like, Black Ops 3 Zombies is so easy. It's nice to have a tough boss fight. Which I think the Rise of Dragon yeah, is a tough boss fight, too. It's but good. It's, good. it's good to see that. Even though Gobble Gums... Do you yeah. think Gobble Gums ruined BL3? I think they did, and that's another thing I think IW did right. They nerfed the Gobblegums whenever they turned them into Fate and Fortune cards mm -hmm. and actually, like, even them out more. Like, for example, with Perkaholic and Black Ops 3, you just pop the Gobblegum yeah. and you have all the perks. In Infinite Warfare, there's a card known as Skull Hacker, where basically in every single Infinite Warfare Zombies map, there's a Skull uh, Hacker machine and basically how those machines work is that if you can find all the skull tokens on a map you put them into the machine and then you have to do a mini game and if you win you and everyone else who participated in that game gets perkaholic for the whole match wow. so the card doesn't necessarily guarantee you a perkaholic but if you complete the actual game it is so satisfying wow. yeah that sounds like a much better way to implement perkaholic than just Get them all at once. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess I never really got into the Fate and Forge cards all that much, so I guess I don't really know how they work too much. But Yeah. yeah. I could... IW is good stuff. All right. <laughs> Black Ops 1 Zombies. What do you think about that? I feel like it hasn't aged well, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Keener to Toten, I think I prefer Doris more over Kino, but I definitely see <clears throat> why Kino was important for Zombies. Because that was most people's starting point. Yeah. And if the map wasn't good, then Zombies probably wouldn't be where it is today. But I feel like the DLC maps were very hit or miss. I feel like Ascension was fun. Yeah. And was only ruined by a weak Easter egg and the Space Monkeys. Yeah, kind of. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, Called the Dead is fun. Yeah, it's Easter that's egg. a good map. It's also easy, but it's also fun. It, it's a fun map. And I the Wonder getting... Weapons, the Scavenger. Cool. And I don't even care if people hate on the, what, what's it called? What's the other one called? The VR-11. I honestly, it's, it's still a cool weapon, turning zombies into humans. I, yeah. I think that's cool. I also love how if you pack a punch to the thing and then shoot any of your friends, it gives them insta-kill. Does like, it? Like, yeah. How do people there we go. figure this shit out? Yeah, I don't get it. That's awesome. I love the Wonder Weapons in Call of the Dead, for sure, even though they're kind of weak, but that's a great map. And, like, what do you think of George yeah. Romero? Because, honestly, he made that map for me, to be honest. I think George is annoying, but I think that's the whole point of him. He's mm -hmm. supposed to be annoying. Like, yeah, the He's map would be terrible if he wasn't there. Camping, I think. So you have to constantly move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 
Yeah, that's true. And you kind of just only have one place to train on that map, really. But nevertheless, yeah, I still enjoy it. What do you think about the fog that comes in? Um, I never really f had a problem with it. I mean, it yeah. was a bit obstructive, but at least it wasn't transit's fog. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. At least little shits didn't jump. <laughs> oh, that'd be Stick terrible. Denizens come with the fog and call the dead. That Nope. Oh. That map's oh my god, if that- oh my god, remember when people remembered hearing the denizen scream in the Mob of the Dead trailer and everyone started <laughs> freaking out? No. Oh, they wouldn't dare bring those things back. They would just- Oh no, like, I remember, basically, in the first trailer they showed for Mob, they show a clip of the warden screaming, and they put the denizen scream oh, no. over his- Terrifying. Were they and then us? everyone was like, oh, and the denizen's back. And then we got Mob... Wait, okay, wait, where was Mob of the Dead at on your top five list? Um, it used to be my, my favorite, but now it sits at, uh, probably six. Ooh. Like, sixth place. Ooh. Just behind Shadows of Evil. Also, right. unpopular opinion time, I think Shadows of Evil is just Mob of the Dead, but better. Mob of the Dead and Shadows? I don't see that at all, really. I mean, it, if you think about it, Shadows of Evil does a lot of the same things that Mob does, but better. It takes the whole concept of having to do multiple things to get the Pack-a-Punch open. The Pack-a-Punch process is actually, in my opinion, a bit more entertaining. I mean, Ooh. don't get me wrong. The plane Kinda. is iconic, yeah. but there's not really a lot of challenge in doing it after you do it the first time. Mm -hmm. With the rituals in Shadows of Evil, there's still a bit of risk to it because you got the Margwis coming in and then whenever you actually open the Pack-a-Punch, you're locked in the room and you have to actually get it open. Yeah. While Mob's more iconic, I think gameplay-wise, Shadows is more engaging. Alright, for me, I think doing the Pack-a-Punch opening on Shadows, honestly, it gets old for me. Like, doing it game after game. Like, say I do it and I get to round 5, then I die. I really just don't want to play again because I really don't want to do all those steps again. So for me, it's a little too tedious. It's a little too much, but... You're okay with that? I'm okay with it. I I, don't know. I believe that when it comes to anything, let it be zombies or any type of game mode in COD, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Like, mm -hmm. my brother, he kind of gave up on zombies after Infinite Warfare, and he thinks that Buried's the best map of all time, and I disagree <laughs> with that. But yeah, I don't make it so I make a whole scene about it, because I know, to him, from what he's played, that's his cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And it isn't mine. Yeah. A big part of it's where you started. Wait, what wait, what was your first map again? Um, my first map was Kino, and my yeah, brother's same. first was also Kino. I did eventually get around to playing Noct, and uh that map creeped me the fuck out as a kid. Noct? I think honestly Kino scared me. I don't know why, but like the alleyway, you know, I was just scared of going out there. I have no clue why. But you were some... scared to go out into yeah, the, the alleyway? The I only... thought the alleyway was actually, like, one of the nicest parts yeah. of the map. Because, like, it's the <laughs> brightest part of yeah. the map. I don't know, man. Like, it's my 10-year-old self or however old I was. I, I was scared to go out there. I don't know. I, I still mean, have no it clue is why. a very, like, tight, close quarters area. You got the zombies coming in from, like, the the, the windows and the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The alley's kind of, yeah. It's not good to be out in the alley. You're probably going to die. Can't really train or do anything out there, to be honest. Yeah. All right. I got I got a question for you. The, your best Call of Duty ever. The best Call of Duty ever made. Oh, okay. Got? Here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I okay. Just gave it to you. Oh, <laughs> God. Dude, this is hard. Just straight up. So, so straight up. Um, oh, God. This is hard. Well, I definitely know it's not any of the games that don't have zombies. So, All Ghost right. is out. The Modern Warfare's are out. And. Uh, Advanced Warfare is automatically out because Exozombies was terrible. Um, <laughs> okay, Exozombies was decent. <laughs> I, I think best COD game All right. in terms of gameplay and memories that I made on that game would have to be Black Ops 3. I can agree with that, honestly. I can see that. All right, here's. I mean, Black Ops 2 was fun, yeah. but I feel like now looking back at it, the maps were a bit disappointing, and I never really played. The, well, I didn't play the multiplayer as a child. That was my brother's thing. I was the, the zombies guy. He was the multiplayer mm -hmm. guy. And so we never really the other person's like mode. My, my brother always played zombies at night, though, so that was pretty much the only time I ever saw him play <laughs> right, it. Right. Here's my takeaway from the Black Ops 3 versus Black Ops 2 debate. 
I think I think Black Ops 3 gave us like more content, more good content, to be honest. Like that game was packed full. We had like two campaigns, multiplayer, free run zombies, Dead Ops Arcade 2. But Black... I don't call nightmares a second <laughs> campaign. I don't know. I never I'm sorry. I just, Did they just retext I remember me? I don't even they remember. They said there was going to be a zombies campaign, and I remember I was losing my mind. <laughs> and then whenever I played, I played the campaign first. I always play the campaign first in a COD game, mm -hmm. so that way I'm prepared for whenever I go into multiplayer and zombies. So I remember I played campaign first in uh, Black Ops 3. I actually don't hate it, but I can definitely see. I feel like the reason everyone hates Black Ops 3's campaign is mm -hmm. because it doesn't feel like it's a Black Ops campaign. It feels like a standalone yeah, COD it, game's own campaign. It wasn't connected to the other other COD games, was it? Black Ops games storyline. Yeah, yeah. So that was, was a problem. Yeah, oh. so I played Black Ops 3's campaign, and mm -hmm. then I played multiplayer and zombies, and then I went into like the extras tab. And, and then I saw nightmares, and go. I was like, "Oh, it's the zombies campaign." <laughs> so, and then I like I played the first mission, and I'm like, "Wait a minute, hold they, up, they just wait a minute, the somebody campaign. right?" <laughs> what exactly did they do with nightmares? I honestly never even played it. I was just saying, nightmares is just the campaign, except they cut out all the audio of the characters talking, and yeah. just put two of her characters talking over everything, and they swap around the order of the missions. And then they just put zombies in. So there's really... Is there any story... So there's like no storyline to it at all? There is a storyline to it. It's like basically there's these two gods that are like controlling the living and the dead. Mm -hmm. And your character is dead as she's telling the story. And then she... Like a somewhat zombie, but not really. And then... <laughs> so, so like in the ending of the Black Ops 3 campaign... Your character leaves and then says their name is the name of that other guy. I can't remember whose name it is. But in Nightmares, you just open a door and there's like a like hundred zombies outside. And mm -hmm. then you just you, you just cock a KRM and then you just start <laughs> killing them as the, the that, game fades. And it's just, it's not fun. That or... is kind of badass. Yeah, it sounds kind of fun. It's not the best ending, but it's badass. Huh. So what would you get on a scale of 10, Nightmares? 1 to 10. What, is it, what does it get? I think it's actually worse than the Black Ops free campaign Yikes. because the way the zombies act in that game, if they hit you, you slow down. Like, you slow down to a crawl. Even when you try to jump away, you're mm. moving at like a snail's pace. If any enemy hits you that isn't a soldier in Nightmares, you slow down so much. So you can very easily get killed if like one zombie swipes you. Yeah, that's tough. All right. Oh, all right. it is tough. Okay. <laughs> all right, hold on. Go back to the Black Ops 2 versus Black Ops 3 thing. Like I said, Black Ops 3 gave us all the content, and I think it was good content. But I feel like Black Ops 2 just, like, satisfied all the different, like, fan base, like, the different people in the community. Like, the Trick Shotters were happy. Like, Vanos, the Trollers were happy. Yep. It was just so perfect. The, the Zombies community was happy for sure. The campaign people were happy. Like, I just think Black Ops 2 just perfected, like, maybe not perfected, but just satisfied everybody, made everybody happy. Whereas Black Ops 3, some people didn't like the multiplayer, some people didn't like the campaign, but Black Ops 3 had more content. So that's my takeaway from that. I feel, like, I feel like for Black Ops 3, everyone just unanimously agreed Zombies was good. Yeah, best Zombies experience, like by far, for sure. Yeah, I actually went back and I played Zetsubo no Shima recently. Good map. I'm kind of surprised at how much I enjoyed it. It's like, I remember map. the first time I, I remember the first time I played it, Mm -hmm. confused on what i had to do yeah and then i just i got i got i got pack a punch opened without having the look of a guide and i was kind of surprised wow that's actually kind of impressive getting pack a punch open then you gotta do three steps i know yeah. uh the, the the first step is the unclogging step mm -hmm. so you see the thing i like about the pack a punch process on zetsubo is that it doesn't straight up tell you how to get it but it kind of pushes you in that direction. Like, whenever you go into the room with all the fans, you're locked in there, and then you see, like, the golden part of... You see, like, the valve come out, so then, like, it draws mm. your attention, because everything else in the room is green. Yeah, and then I... in the part where you're in the room with all the zombies that are tied up in the webs, if you knife them or shoot them, the webs break. So you think to yourself, why would they let me do this unless there was a reason to do this? And then in the part where you go into the cave, you think to yourself, well, there's nothing in here, but what if I just keep swimming? Maybe I will find something. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but I know, they don't yeah. straight up tell you. 
but they push you in the, the direction enough so that, you know, they give you enough breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing. Do you like how... I really like the setting of Zetsuo. I like how green it is. Do you, do you like that too? I oh just, my God. I think it's so special. It's a creepy ass we, map. It's a creepy yeah, we, ass map. We've never really seen anything like it, I thought. So I really like that. Uh, like the music I is perfect first... and Takio quotes. It's good stuff. I honestly Oh my think. God. Takio's quotes on the map are brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is, it is a good map. Yeah. But I remember the first time I fought the spider boss. It oh, was. Uh, that's so good. It was terrifying, to be completely honest. Yeah. I had no idea what, what I was doing. I remember I got the KT4. <laughs> And I noticed that there was like these blue webs around the map that had like power ups behind them. Oh, you so went I in there unwi them unknowingly. The KT4. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what what what, I, what, what I was doing. I noticed down there. webs that couldn't be opened unless you had the KT4. So yeah. I shot them, and there's like power ups inside. <laughs> and then I noticed over by Speed Cola where the blue water was, there's just yeah. this big ass one. And I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> you probably thought so you'd then be I shot that, something. and I was like, "Wait a minute, w oh. what was this for again?" Okay. And then I just saw the giant spider, and I was like, "Oh, oh, yeah. that's what was behind <laughs> the web." Did you, did anything ever cross your mind? Maybe you just beat the Easter egg. You just first first in the world. No, I <laughs> I know Black Ops for Easter eggs aren't that easy. <laughs> you just shoot one web in the boss fight, and then they implement a widow's wine nicely. Web, like, you fight a spider. We didn't even see Takio. It doesn't deserve the hey man, the skull of non software. That's good stuff. Dude, it's overpowered to sin, dude. It charges it... so quickly. I honestly haven't used it in a couple of years. I just remember it being really fun to use. So I, I know. Like, so it. it charges like once every but round again, on a high round. That's all of Black Ops 3. Easy. Overpowered. So I guess I don't know. What did you think of the, the boss fight? Like, Did you think the Easter egg was a little underwhelming in that game? Just get three cog gears and ride the elevator down um, to the boss fight? Well, the thing is, I remember... <laughs> People, like had a discussion about it and i agree a lot of people say that not a lot happens in zetsubo it's not as complicated you know like there's not mm -hmm. that many outside forces you don't really place zetsubo takes place on an isolated island so you're made to feel like you're alone and mm -hmm. that any bit of progress you made feels big yeah what do you think about the uh watering the plants how do you think about how that was implemented um, I kind of just watered the plants, like, once every few rounds, and, uh, I remember the first time, like, also, can you tell me, I don't know why I did it. I remember one time I, like, watered the plant, and then, like, a lemon or something came out, and then I oh, ate it, fruit? and my character just threw up, and oh. I got an achievement for it, and I'm like, okay. I think you okay. made the fruit, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, like, but all I have to ask is, like, what did that achieve? Did, did I just make my character puke? <laughs> hey, they're just trying to add a little cool side Easter egg, man. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. What, all right. What do you? What about like the coin oh, yeah. system in Spaceland? Was that just Zetsubo perfected with the, with the watering the plants? Oh wait. Uh, say that. Say that again. The uh the coin system in Spaceland. Oh. That's perfect. I the think. The coin system is better. It's so good. Straight up, beside every single souvenir machine, they have like little mar. Mm-hmm markings on the side of the machine yeah. that hint as to what combinations of coins gives you what item but they always leave the very last one blank yeah and they also implemented them with the wonder weapons didn't they like i thought they were implemented yeah, very well yeah so the wonder weapons the method for all of them is the exact same do a hidden side quest to get the toy get mm -hmm. trap kills and arcane core kills oh, yes. to get the, the crystal and then to get the toy you simply just, um, you get all the, you get mm -hmm. all the coins. You get free coins of the same color, and then you put them into the corresponding place. So you put the spacement coins into Journey into Space. You put the, the Yeti ones up in Polar Peak. You put the Alien ones over in Kepler. Yeah. And then you, I think you actually put in one of every color yeah. into the arcade one because, yeah. like, you're trying mm -hmm. to get a disco like ball. Yeah, man, the way those wonder weapons were implemented were so good. You got to get the coins, you got to get the arcane cores, hit the traps. It just they implement them so well into the map. So you have to kind of visit like every area of the map, sorta, if you want yep. all of them anyway. And it is it, it was really good in my opinion. Another reason mm -hmm. my spaceline is great. Wait, spaceline Easter egg? What do you think about that? Dude. dude, two words that just make me love spaceline, like a lot. David Hasselhoff. 
He makes the just David he's, Hasselhoff just yeah. hamming it up as a DJ and yeah. just being his night rider personality. <laughs> like I love it. Yeah, definitely a cool feature. Yeah, so for pretty much any time I play Spaceland now, since I beat the Easter egg, I just play as David Hasselhoff, yeah. and I, I love his quotes. Like any time he opens a door, he'll be like, "I'll go where I want to go," or "Always open for the ha." <laughs> Good stuff. I just love it. And so you'd say the Easter egg rewards in IW were much better than like Black Ops Three or other things like that. Um, if we're talking the Super Easter egg and Director's Cut, definitely. But if we're talking the punch. solo Easter eggs for some maps, not really. Um, for Spaceland, if you want to get double pack a punch, you have to beat the whole Easter egg. Yeah. If you want to use the smiley in in rave, you have to beat the whole Easter egg. Mm -hmm. If you want to use the sword in Shaolin, you need to get the katana. I don't think there was actually any I... reward for beating Attack of the Radioactive Things, and oh, there okay. also wasn't a reward for beating uh, Beast from Beyonds. Except the, the Mephistopheles fight if you got the talismans. Mm -hmm. See, I kind of like that, how they implemented stuff like that into the map that you get after beating the Easter egg. I think that's kind of cool. Cause like, yeah, exactly. Black Ops 3 and stuff didn't really do that. So I think that's definitely an improvement. Yeah. That I also helped. found it crazy just how much hidden shit they put in. And like weeks later, we, we, we were still finding it. Like, mm -hmm. I remember how so many people... No, but I loved this. I loved this about Infinite Warfare Zombies. Some people hated it, but personally, I loved it. So, whenever you beat the uh, Beast from Beyond Easter Egg for the very second time, Ooh. in the ending, you throw Willard Wyler into Spaceland. So then, you can then play as him in Spaceland, and you yeah. escape as him. That is so oh, yeah. cool. He, they yeah. put him to the game as a hidden character. That is cool, actually. Wow. Does he give you, like, a different cutscene? or? <laughs> uh, yeah, it actually does. It gives really? you a whole new ending. What? You escape space. Dude, I know he was so good. <laughs> yeah, really and you, did, also really get, you also even get to use his ritual dagger and he even That's like sweet. talks with Hasselhoff and Hoff's like wow. oh how do you feel now that you're trapped in the movie and, and Will just straight up doesn't give a shit because he knows he's going to escape the movie yeah Bro, that's so cool how they did that that is like dang Spaceland is there's such a strong argument for that to be like a top five map easily it's so good for well, sure well it came in at number three for, for, for me for you yeah I mean Bro, I might actually, now that I'm talking about it, in terms of just how much stuff they crammed into Spaceland, I might actually have it on equal ground, if not better than Rave. Because <laughs> Rave, no, 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 but like, hear me out. Rave is the more casual map, but if you're looking for like a more hardcore and fun zombies experience, like one you get on Black Ops 3, yeah. Spaceland is going to be amazing for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of more for the hardcore players, whereas Raven the Red was just, like you said earlier, the casual player map. So they got a little bit of yeah, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Which is perfect. So basically, it's my perfect map. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, let's see. Oh, we really discussed, like, everything. What do you think of Revelations? Uh, was, was the Easter egg ending underwhelming in that map as well? The boss fight was pretty pretty boring, honestly. When it comes to Afer, there were so many times they could have ended the series and started something new, but they didn't. And then what ended up happening is that the story went in such a ass backwards direction, they knew they couldn't give you a satisfying ending. Like, oh my, dude, that... like let me just give you a few examples of where, when they could have ended zombies. They could have ended it at Moon. They could have ended it at Barry. They could <laughs> have ended it at Origins. They could have ended it at Revelations. They could have ended it there so many times, but I'm... they just kept on going. That's good. I like, dude, the Ether storyline is so in depth. It's so crazy. Honestly, man, the more Bruh, content they I give us. I think my brain cells finally started going after Re Revelations. Like, I actually think they should have ended it at Revelations with the, like, really? time loop and then made it so if you did a specific thing in every map, then you got a different ending. That would be so that cool. That would have worked out so much better. Yeah, instead of... Do you even get anything for Revelations? I guess RK5 now, so... Yeah, yeah you get a fucking pistol. <laughs> That's it. 
You get a pistol. Yeah, like, guys, I know you went and jumped through <laughs> just, dimensions, so uh, all these here's drink. a pistol. Have fun. Like, <laughs> here's like, 500 what, points. What, it does give you what? max ammo, though, which is kind of nice. It gives you, like, full ammo on the starting pistol, which no, is nice. It's so dumb. <laughs> but it is, like, for the super Easter egg, it's pretty underwhelming. Bro, if it, there would have been a great super Easter egg in Black Ops 3, that zombie's experience would just be so good. I, mean, I know. Is, like, and the worst part is, after I found out what you got for doing the super Easter egg, I was like, yeah, now I have literally no reason to yeah. want to do no any incentive. of the Black Ops 3 Easter eggs ever. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's fair. What do you think about the entire ending of the Ether storyline, Black Ops 4 ending? I feel like... I feel like most people couldn't wrap their heads around it the first time, so they mm -hmm. just kind of got angry and confused. Yeah. But then whenever they watched it over and over and over and over again it kind of started to make more sense, and then that's when they realized, oh, shit, this was actually the I, only way it could end. Yeah, I thought it was and really it's, good. And it's depressing, too. Like, they pull no punches on that ending. Nope. Just killed everybody. <laughs> Just killed <laughs> everybody, and then... Pretty much. I guess, I don't oh, know. my God. The part that always confused me was, why did Nikolai have Samantha shoot him? Like, what? Could, <laughs> couldn't you Do have himself? done it yourself? Yeah, I suppose. I don't traumatize the children i guess i don't know that no, that just no. makes it a lot more of a tearjerker you know if they do that so yeah they kind of just i know kinda just had to i actually enjoy tag their toten it's actually my top 10 because oh, i feel like tag. it takes everything called the dead did and makes it better and i feel like you see the, the, the argument for black ops 4 is that if it was on black ops free engine it would have been perfect yeah Maybe. I don't know. All the maps are kind of just remakes, so... Yeah. Like, imagine um, maps like uh, Nine and Voyage oh, and Ancient Evil on, on Black Ops 3. That'd be crazy. They'd be perfect. Nine would be... Yeah, for sure. <sighs> yeah. That's tough. That's tough. But, uh... Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, but I think the best part about COD Zombies... Unfortunately, I've never really been able to experience it that often due to the fact I don't have a PC, but custom zombies. That's oh where the God, community dude. went wild. Again, Black Ops 3 giving us content. Custom zombies is so good. Oh my God. Also, it. So, do you actually have a PC, Smitty? Yes, I do. To play custom zombies on too, yeah. I used to. Oh yeah, but dude, did you hear that they remade Leviathan from World of War? Oof. I honestly never really played that map. But there was a lot of hype around well, it. Well, I might have played you should it because they actually released a trailer for it, and oh. it's amazing. It's out right now. That's it's crazy. actually a prequel to Called the Dead. So that's <laughs> bro, fun. The people are so talented in the community. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> like, and bro, they could literally the be working a trailer. Is, that's crazy. is that three people came together to make a custom zombies map, and it's yeah, better it's so than perfect. pretty much most of the stuff Jarek's making nowadays. Oh, How yikes. do they let this happen? Yikes. The community knows what they want, and those guys... Three people, that's it, made it? That's... Yeah, that's so three impressive, people man, made like... one map that, like, everyone lost their shit over. Mm -hmm. Like, in a good way. Yeah. Bro, me and my brother used to try to make custom zombies map. It is not easy to get things to work, so... <laughs> Yeah. For them to get that done. I like, mean, they're probably a lot more talented. Most people can barely just make a solid floor that you can stand yeah. on. <laughs> Pretty much. And his zombie spawns are tough. So that's incredible. I should play that sometime. I haven't played yeah. Customs in years. But yeah, Customs is amazing. That's another reason why Black Ops 3 was just so so good, dude. They gave us mod tools. Yeah. I actually oh. remember the first time I went over to my friend's house. I remember my friend had a PC and I was like, hey, what do you have? And then... He was like, oh, I have Black Ops 3. And I'm like, oh, you want to play zombies on Black Ops 3? And he's like, sure. And then he boots up his PC and not his PS4. And I'm like, dude, I thought we were playing Black Ops 3. And then he's like, dude, I have it on PC. And I'm like, yo, we can play custom zombies. Yeah. And we spent the whole afternoon just playing <laughs> custom zombies, playing Mob of the Dead Remastered, playing Rust and all those other maps. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. it was It's so fun. Yeah, man, they are. Because, like, they can just be so, like, stupid. Like, they're, like, the octagon map or whatever where you just run around oh and fall off the map. God. Or they could be serious, like Leviathan. It's just, it's so cool. The cheese cube map. Oh. It's... I was about to say that. Yeah. Two words that strike fear into Noah J456's heart. Cheese cube. The cheese cube unlimited map. Dude, I used to love that map. The World at War version. It was so much fun, though. Yeah, for sure. God. And that is why Black Ops 3 is the best times experience. 
Hands yeah. down, honestly. <sighs> oh, I do realize one thing we didn't actually talk about. What's that? Advanced Warfare. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Honestly, for me, it wasn't, like, horrible. Like, I think Carrier was a good map. Outbreak was a good map. Descent was decent. Burger Town was just so bad. Oh, fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Whose idea was it to make it that we have to do escort missions that are mandatory? Otherwise, we lose our exosuit. Oh, Whose idea was that? And then there's like dog rounds and there's like smoke or gas or something that kills you and it... Uh, yeah, toxic zones. Oh, As my. if getting infected <laughs> by toxic zombies on outbreak wasn't bad enough now we have entire zones that do that wow they did things so wrong in advance or in burger town advanced warfare zombies like do you like any of the maps in advanced warfare zombies or um I, you see the thing was is that i remember like getting the riot hidden ending and i was so excited to see what was going to happen and then when I found out that the only way to play Exo Zombies was that I had to buy the first DLC pack to see if it was even good, mm-hmm. I was annoyed at first, but I was like, okay, screw it. I'll just spend yeah. my 15 bucks. If it's bad, I've just wasted it. If it's good, then screw it. I'll see what the rest are like. And Man. after playing Outbreak like maybe three or four times with my friend, I unanimously agreed with him, Sorry. never again. I thought it was okay, you know, for a starting map, it wasn't terrible. The self free cauterizer was cool. Yeah, Basically, the cauterizer was nice. Blunder, yeah. The pack punch, twenty five levels. That's that's kind of cool. Like oh 20. no, I found that shit stupid. I, I kind of like that. It's just a max ammo every time you go upgrade. I thought it was kind of cool. I know, but I just find it stupid because at least with Black Ops Free, like, like I know, like for all the crap Black Ops Four gets, at least you only have to pack a punch the gun five times. Not 25! <laughs> hey. I don't even care if the, the price is slashed in half every time you pack a punch. I don't care! <laughs> I didn't have, have a big problem with that. that many times. And then you get the Easter egg done, you can pack punch to 25. I think you can just pack punch to 20 regularly. It's good stuff. Oh my god. Like, I, so you didn't I like still any of the maps? Care. Don't like any of them? I liked Outbreak, and okay. for the short while that I played them at a friend's house, I actually enjoyed a uh, carrier yeah. and uh, the wonder descent. Was cool. Descent was good too. Oh, the the wonder wonder, the weapons are just fun cool. to use. The trident's cool. It's like yeah. a no, 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 no way. Kills bouncing off the walls. I think that's what it's called. There's like a wonder weapon that like shot like a beam, and you actually yeah. had to like aim the beams. That thing was so much fun. I don't remember what it's called either, but it was it was cool. I know what you're talking about. Bond carrier. Yeah. It was good stuff. All right. Yeah. Okay. Rank rank advanced warfare zombies one to ten, on how good the zombies was. Just one to ten. I, I think I may as well just do all of them yep, because people well. we'll end it with this. Go with every so, every zombies game. Rank it one to ten. Okay. So first of all, starting with World at War, I'm just going to rank them based on how they stack up today. All I right. feel like with World at War, even though the maps are simplistic, and some can be a bit boring. We mm-hmm. do have to remember that they did bring innovation over time and yeah. visual experiences. So on that merit, I'd probably have to give it a, like a 6 out of 10. So That's fair. It's solid. It can get boring, yep. but it's just casual and it's solid. There's no really bad map out of the first four we, we got. Mm-hmm. All right, so World of War gets 6. How about uh, ooh, Black yeah. Ops 1? This, this could be interesting. So, so Black Ops 1, Kino is a... Uh, Okay, five is a lot more adrenaline pumping and more intense and harder. So I actually, yeah, on, on popular opinion time, I prefer five over Kino. So Oof. I think okay, that's rough. <laughs> uh, Ascension fine. is good. It's a good map. Uh, then we had a called the dead. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Then we had um, Shangri La. I don't personally <laughs> like it, but I do know that it did bring a lot of stuff to the table so mm-hmm. had a great Easter also a fine stuff. map That's um good stuff. moon i think moon gets too much hate i personally i personally enjoy moon you know it's it's a decent map i don't know they really went big with that yeah, map i think it, i don't think that's the it best it was, how it was fun you need to, like, kind of. oh my god i hate the excavators though if they yeah. got rid of those it would have been perfect i hate how like the whole easter eggs rng basically yeah i know that's tough like, also 
Whose idea was it to put Simon Says in Zombies? Even in <laughs> Spaceland, it's annoying. Like, I don't like Simon Says. <laughs> I don't want to have a fight with a computer. Like, Jesus Christ, hey. I'd rather shoot the damn thing. <laughs> so, all, right, all that Black considered. Ops... What is Black yeah, Ops Black Ops 1, yet? it's definitely better than what we got with um, uh, World of War, so I'd probably give it about about a 7.5. All right, it was fair. good. It was good. Black, right. Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Transit was eh. Nuketown was okay. It was fun. Die Rise, I didn't like. Uh, Mob of the Dead, iconic. Mm-hmm. Buried, a bit boring. I don't, no, 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 don't get me wrong. Buried's fun, but it yeah. gets boring it's really quickly on high round. Camp, yeah. Whenever. It's very easy. I know, because you just grab the subwoofer and a, and a fucking, what's the name of the thing? The oh, turbine, and then oh, you just yeah, camp in the corner. Yeah, you do that, yeah. It's fun, it's pretty easy. but it dies really quickly. Um, mm-hmm. Origins, overrated, but not <sighs> trash. I think it's it's fun. Mm-hmm. It, it's fun, but it's not something I want to come back to very soon. I mean, because of all the stuff you have to do. That hurts. Origins so for Black so Ops good. 2, <laughs> what do you Black Ops I two? feel like there was a lot of potential. So I might actually rank it on equal grounds with uh, World at War, so Oof. it's also going to get a 6. I rank it That's on unpopular. equal grounds. Mm-hmm. All right, because then... I, yeah, because I feel like with Black Ops 1, there was more consistent quality. With Black Ops 2, it was all over the goddamn place. Yeah. All right, Black Ops 3, what do you think? Uh, Atos is amazing. Drys and Drax yeah. amazing. The giant is also amazing. Zetsubo, a bit slow, but once you get everything done, it can actually be really fun. Garad Krovi, absolute mm-hmm. mayhem, but Great it's map. fun. <laughs> Revelations, yeah. it's fun, but it plucks your nostalgia strings until they're about to snap. Pretty much. So for Black Ops 3, I feel like, again, like Black Ops 1, the quality was consistent, so I'll probably actually rate it a 9. Yeah, that's fair. And then finally, we'll go with Black Ops 4. We'll just do the, we'll just do the Treyarch games. That's fair. I think these are fair ratings, to be honest. Okay, Black Ops. This 4. will be interesting, though. Let's see what I you have think to say here. now that Black Ops Four had plenty of time to be patched, mm. um, Voyage of Despair, it's fun, but I can easily see why people wouldn't like it. Nine is also a fun map. It's very simplistic. Mm-hmm. Which is good for some people. Zombies when it comes to casual and hardcore players. Because it shows the player everything they need to know about the Black Ops 4 mechanics from the new perk system to pack a punch. Yeah. Out very well. Blood of the Dead is such a. De- the flow is completely uh, ruined. I thought Blood of the Dead was decent. I don't know. Most of the new era never go to them. That's the world. Leave the spawn, and unless you're doing the Easter egg, you never come back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> classified in my opinion is five but better but i actually feel like some some five is lost because it's not as chaotic so yeah, i never really got that's class fine <laughs> death of the night death of the night does everything i didn't like about origins and does them so much worse so easily <laughs> one of the worst maps i think i've ever played rip i know Ancient i don't think i've ever played it it's amazing I but, love Ancient Evil. It's decent, I feel I like it so. does everything that Derizendrak did well and just balances it out more. I think the only thing I don't like about Derizendrak... No, not Derizendrak. I think the only thing I didn't like about Ancient Evil was the Ginganese boss. I feel like if it died a bit quicker... Is that and the had big more dude attacks, with like four arms or six arms? Yeah, 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 him. he is a tank. He's an actual tank. Yeah, I feel like if he died a bit faster, it'd be... Um, yeah, that'd be okay. nice. Um... Okay, so Alpha Omega, I feel like there's just too much shit going on. You got the Nova Crawlers, you got Jolting and Jumping Jacks, you got Blue Hellhounds, you got the zombies being powered up by the Nova Crawlers, you mm-hmm. have to constantly crank the pumps in order to keep the pack a punch on. You have the Easter egg, you have the ray guns. There's just there's just too much shit going I, on. I kinda like that map, honestly. It was kinda lazy, but so was Black Ops yeah, it's Wars again, Zombies. It, so. It's again, it's again subjective opinion. I know mm-hmm. some people who hate Gugorod Krovi because of how crazy it is, but I feel like the way the craziness is handled, as long as you get everything you need, you can handle it. And in Alpha Omega, when I get one of those ray guns 
and I pack a punch it, and I have my specialist weapon, and I have a fully pack a punch secondary, I still don't feel safe. I still don't feel like I'm going to survive because there's it's just difficult. so much shit. Black Ops 4 Zombies is difficult, to be honest. I know. It's hectic. And then there's Tag Der Toten. Ooh. I don't think it should have been the final map we've got, but it did the job. It had to do well enough so that it didn't flop. And gameplay-wise, it's fun. So yeah. taking into account everything Black Ops 4 had, Here its quality was all over the place. The starting <laughs> maps were okay. Nine was good. Voyage was good. Classified was good. Love of the Dead was the main event, but it just flopped so hard. Dead of mm. the Night was not good. Ancient Evil brought things back around, but then we immediately dropped back down with Alpha Omega, and then were slightly lifted back up by what was um, uh, Tech Totten. Totten. And So that... I think I might actually rank it. Uh, I think I'm only gonna rank it like slightly better than black ops 2 like slightly Oof, better very unpopular yeah, so, like, I, slightly better. Uh, I guess i never really played black ops 4 zombies to be honest all that much so i can't do it i can't put it above bo2 but so would you give it like a yeah. like a seven yeah all right. yeah so there it yeah, is a seven so all of them ranked order wise we got world at war yep. and black ops 1 tied with six then we have black ops 4 with seven and then we jump to Black Ops 3 with uh, 9. But you are... And then you missed Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is below BO4. Oh, yeah, Black Ops Oof, 2 is Very below. unpopular. But you heard it here. All right, man. I think, yeah. I think we should wrap it up. We've been going for a strong hour, man. Like we said, we could talk about zombies yeah. for a long time. Yeah, we, but, we talked about zombies for ages, dude. Yeah. We're at an hour and six minutes. Hey, it's been a grind. We covered, like, basically everything. So I'm happy with how it went. It was good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with how it went, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on. Hopefully we can have you back on sometime. Yeah, thanks, maybe, man. Maybe when the next Zombies drops this year, if it does, we'll, we'll discuss that yes. for sure. We should make... No, no, no. I think what we should do is that whenever the new Zombies comes out, or if you get, like, Infinite Warfare on Xbox One, mm-hmm. we, we should just, like, do an entire, like, podcast just talking about what we played and what we enjoyed. Probably. First takes from it. Yeah, man. That, for sure. We could do something like that. Be- if we get it this year, hopefully the coronavirus doesn't, like, delay the release or something. Uh, no, no, no. Activision says that the, the, the release has been delayed and that they're still working strong from home. All right. Good stuff. Well, that was the longest one ever. We're at an hour and seven minutes. We're going to end here. I appreciate you coming on again, dude. For sure having you back sometime. Fun, it's been fun. Yeah. And yeah, this has been episode 11. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.